we're, that's where we're firmly rooted in, in terms of our, our background and, and where we're going. So um, grab some of the stuff, wait for electioneering, but thanks anyway, everyone for coming, thanks to Dale for speaking and I'm looking forward now to hearing what we said. Thank you. Thanks, Stuart. Um, so, just like right, Larissa, right? Wait. Now we can't. You have to introduce yourself. Yeah, thanks, guys. Sorry I was a bit late. Um, I was doing a Bruce 31 thing with Family First, who I haven't been through before. I was in the same sex marriage and parenting, so that was fun. So, hopefully, you guys are a bit more progressive today. Um, thanks so much to that. Oh, I'm not too sure that was. Thanks, um, thanks to Dale for that. That's great to meet you, and um, I really appreciated the, the history that you gave there. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, I do environmental law when I'm not campaigning for the Greens, so I just want to talk a little bit about um, what the state government is proposing to do on Australia. But I want to also acknowledge and recognise and thank the two speakers and endorse everything that they've said so far. So um, well spoken, both of you, and of course acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, which I think we did at the beginning, of course. Um, so, look, what's happened is the state government made an announcement about, I think it was three months ago now, and they made a big song and dance and said that they were going to ban mining on Australia um, by 2027. But then, if you looked at the details, which I did, what they were actually doing is renewing mining leases that had already expired and extending them out to 2027. And I saw a little letter from the company, and Dale said it's Unimin now, they bought out CRL, the previous owners. I saw a letter that Unimin had sent to the Stock Exchange saying, we've got minerals in our biggest mine until 2027. Now, what a coincidence. That's exactly the amount of time the state government has given them before they're going to ban mining. So they're not banning mining, they're in fact unilaterally extending a mining lease that's already expired and giving the company exactly what they want. Now, you know, as Dale told, this happens time and time again. Everybody, everybody else's interests are ridden roughshod over um, because of the royalties that the state government gets from these big mining companies. Um, so shame on the state government for um, trying to paint themselves as great environmental saviours and big shame on them for trying to tie the recognition of the native title claim to the continuation of mining, which I think is uh, completely atrocious and embarrassing. Um, but look, that's what we've got. Um, with our state government, unfortunately. So what the Greens are calling for, and I'm a federal candidate running for the Senate, um, as, as is Sam for the Socialist Alliance, and obviously there's lots of other people to choose from too, on your big white paper. Uh, what we've been calling for in, is for the federal government to step in and do something, because the state government is hooked on the donations that it gets from the big mining companies, they're hooked on the royalties. So what happened with Fraser Island? I don't know if anyone's old enough to remember the ban of, of sand mining on Fraser in 1976, maybe there's a few here who remember that. Um, but the, the federal government stepped in and banned sand mining using some powers under the customs regulations. So there was a little um, section in the customs regs that said to export something, you need to get a licence from the federal government. And they had a list of minerals. So if you were exporting one of these minerals, you had to get permission from the federal government to do it. So the federal government withheld their permission to export the sand minerals from Fraser Island and effectively stop mining. But then what the Howard government did when it got in was actually remove some of the minerals from that list. So essentially it tied its own hands again. It said, no, we don't want to have the power to be able to stop sand mining. We love them. sand mining, we think it's great. So what the Greens have called for is let's put those minerals back on the list. Let's give the federal government that power again to actually step in and do something. Because the state government is simply not. Um, so that's really, in a nutshell, what we've been calling for. And I had the um, great fortune to actually go on a chopper ride over Australia about three weeks ago now. Um, and it is so beautiful. I mean, who doesn't holiday on Australia? Put your hand up if you don't holiday on Australia. Okay, you've got to go to Australia, dude. It's really <laughs> nice. So it's totally beautiful. And it's a massive island. It's the second, second biggest sand island in the world. And here we are, we've got massive sand mining. And you can't see it if you're just a normal tourist because it's right in the middle of the island. So flying over, we've just got this really stark contrast of beautiful virgin forest koala habitat. It's the only sand island with koalas, and who doesn't love a koala? So massive loss of koala habitat for this huge, disgusting sand mine, profits going overseas, 
no permission from the Indigenous landowners, um, no, no consent. So yeah, look, we're calling for a far better approach on Strap Road. We want the feds to step back in, to say no to sand mining, to progress the native title claim completely separate from the mining issue, which is only right and proper, um, and to make sure that the people like Dale's views are respected. Now we've got, as a signatory here in Australia to the UN Rights and the Declaration of Indigenous People, we have obligations to have free and informed consent with, with traditional um, owners and TO claimants. But that's so often forgotten. So we need to remember that we need free and informed consent, not just tokenistic consultation, but proper informed consent. Uh, and yeah, we need to make sure that mining companies aren't running this place, but people are. So that's really all I wanted to say. Um, hope you voted green on Saturday, a bit of late in electioneering as well. Uh, we've got a pretty good chance in the Senate actually, so um, I'm going to give you a little brochure because they're all recycled and we've got, you know, we've got a few days left to get rid of them. We've got a few little piles left, so I'll hand these out. Uh, but if anyone wants to help us on Saturday, hand out for us on a poly booth, we'd love that. See Karina at the back, who's now groaning because you're all going to inundate her, I hope. Um, but look, that's enough about the Greens. We're here about Strabrook. Strabrook's a beautiful place. You need to get there and visit it. And we all need to tell both our state um, and our federal politicians that we want a much fairer approach. We want the environment looked after. We want Indigenous rights protected. And we want the rights and interests of the mining companies to come a third, not a first, to those other two interests. So thanks. That's it for me. Um, so, in terms of uh, questions or discussion, maybe our speakers can stay sitting there, but if people have questions, they can direct them to a particular speaker or to all of the speakers. Um, what we might do in, in terms of uh, the interest of time is take it in rounds of three, um, just to keep, keep things moving. I think we've got about 20 minutes, half an hour. And uh, I, I think it's great to see that um, the Greens Club and and Resistance Club working together. We need more uh, unity on, on the progressive side of politics, not less. Um, and I think that a vote for either Socialist Alliance or all Greens is a, is a vote well spent, or not spent, well, well uh, received. So, and of course, Socialist Alliance preferences all go to Greens. Um, but just on that, then I think open it up for, for questions um, and, and we can go from there, particularly, I think, around. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the issue of the current uh, announcements by Anna Bly on the same one and Dale can have comments on that as well, on the, on the current announcements. But is there any um, questions?